says, why do some pumps have a recirculate slash cool pump valve while others don't? He said, I was taught to open the tank to pump valve and idle the pump when we are not actively using water. I guess I'll take this one. Uh, Greg? At, uh, during the pump operation training, which we do, anytime uh, we engage the pump, we want to be moving water. Um, the reason for that is, is water that's deadheaded that comes from our tank and doesn't go back to tank or out to any discharges will heat up over time um, and that will cause uh, the water to, to get hot enough that it could cause damage to anybody that uh, gets that water on their skin. So we worry about um, number one, protecting the firefighters. So we never want to deadhead water, we want to keep that water moving. Um, the second reason, if it got hot enough, uh, you know, it, it's hard on uh, mechanical seals and other parts that are in the pump also. So you always want to open up, uh, recirculate water, but uh, the, most of the manufacturers have gone away from what we used to have as a, a pump cooler line or a recirculation line that was typically uh, three-eighths or a half inch, and they've incorporated that now into the tank fill valve. So. Uh, you want to crack the tank fill valve and that's the important part is just cracking it. A lot of times that's a two inch valve and a two inch opening um, flowing at 60 PSI is going to want to flow about 1250 gallons per minute. So if you're operating from tank at that point you would be trying to cavitate your pump and returning too much water to the tank. So um, the reason we, we've gone away from the pump cooling line is is uh, the OEMs have, um, a lot of them have gone to the tank fill and it's usually tank fill slash pump cooling.